Hey guys, this is just a little Halloween little room box that I had made um, four years ago. I actually made this, I think it was a Lindy Stamp Gang challenge for a Halloween creation. Um, I did win second place on it and got a bunch of sprays and mica powders and stuff as a gift. But anyways, um, for those of you that didn't see this years ago or just kind of did see it but forgot about it, I thought I'd bring it out and show you again. Um, I like to do miniatures. That was kind of my first craft before I started doing paper crafting. And it kind of took a bit on the wayside just because, I don't know, I enjoy paper crafting. But anyways, I do tinker around with it sometimes. I love to build room boxes. I have doll houses. If you scroll through my old, old videos, you will see my doll house. You will see creations I've made for my doll house, um, et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, I love doing miniatures. It is just, it's a really, really cool hobby. But anyways, let me get started with this. This is just a room box that I did for the project. It's made out of foam core board. I glued them together. Um, and all this stash was from collection pieces and scrap pieces that I have from my dollhouses. And this is actually real wood siding that goes on the houses and I stained it with the Lindy's stuff, Lindy's sprays and stuff to give it that Halloween thing. This was an old door that I had in my dollhouse stash, which I loved and it didn't fit in my dollhouse, so I used it and it really opens. Peekaboo! And it's real wood. So anyways, it's a trick-or-treat scene. It's the house. There's the little window. And this is going to be unstable because I'm holding the camera so I can get all the angles. I made the tree, um, I guess, out of tin foil, if I can remember. And I painted it. And then I put the gauzy stuff. And I actually took tissue, like toilet paper squares, and made the little tiny ghosts and hung them on the tree. So it looked like they decorated for Halloween. There's a better shot. And then that's real brick that comes like on a, I don't know, kind of like when you do your tile, but it's meant for dollhouses. And I, I kind of put some, <clears throat> I don't remember what I put in there, but I kind of made it look like snow was like frost or something, cold Halloween night. This was a little tea light candle holder and I cut that apart and used her as a trick-or-treater. I had these little miniature Halloween bags. The stone here was egg cartons and I, those, you know, the cardboard egg cartons and I just ripped them up and kind of inked them a little bit and then I glued each one down. Um, the leaves on the, you can see how small this is. There's my finger. So the leaves was Actually, I made that out of a Martha Stewart snowflake punch, and I just cut the tips off, and I cut it out of Halloween or fall-looking paper, so it looked like changing leaves. It really looks real. These are really sticks from plants in my front yard. Um, I these are actually what my real flower pots look like on my porch, because I can't grow nothing. So I had these little ceramic pots. I really put real sticks in there. Um, the mulch I used, I don't know, I have a container full of chopped up something that I thought looked like mulch. I think that looks like mums. It's flocking. Um, I really picked these out of my yard and made it look like a corn stalk, kind of with real leaves from my yard, bunched it up. These are clay pumpkins that I made when I used to go to miniature group, kind of like a scrap booking group, but we did miniatures. Um, you wrap the clay around a ball of foil and then you bake it and make it look like a pumpkin. So yeah, and the steps I made out of cardstock and then I just crackled it and made it look really old and yucky. I took styrofoam on that pot and I put that flocking stuff and glued it all on there so it looks like a pot of mums, I think. And I put some leaves so it looks like the leaves blew in there and got on top. This I picked off of one of the bushes in my yard and made it look like a tree that was missing all the leaves. 
And then down in there I did, let me kind of move, I did again the mulch, the flower beds, and there's some plants stuck in there if you can see. So let me give you just a good zoom there. It's so realistic looking, it's not even funny. I took second place, but I think I should have got first place. That's my opinion. Anywho, the other person's project was very nice. It wasn't miniatures. It was just a wreath, I think. I don't know, but it was beautiful. So yeah, look, this is really like a window. You can see through that, the top of the door, and I stained it. Um, that wreath, I think, was a gift to me from one of the people in my miniature group, and it's just a beautiful fall wreath made out of dried flowers and glue and glitter and all that happy nonsense. That piece right there is just, I have the door taped shut for storage so the tape's poking through. And there it is. I thinking love it. So I keep this on my shelf in my craft room. I have other miniature room boxes like a craft store and I did a craft room too. If you scroll through my videos, you will find them way back in the day. But All right, I just thought I'd share this little Halloween treat with you. Um, like I said, I really don't get seasonal, but I don't know, this year I am. I did this just for a contest before, and I had this stuff, so I thought I'd make it. But again, it's kind of cutesy. I love the way the ground looks. Doesn't it look like those leaves just blew blue in there and they're all glued down I'll give you a close-up of the stone patio it really looks real I actually taught a class because I had did we did like a garden scene and when I went to that group and I had came up with this I made like a I don't know I did the stone in my garden and then they all loved it and I actually taught a class on how to do it at the group so oh this is making me want to work on my dollhouse but I got more mini albums to make all right everybody take care enjoy your Halloween season